Welcome back everyone to another model home tour here on our channel, Everything Jack's Real Estate. Today we are in Rivertown looking at the Toll Brothers community, The Shores. In this community, we are looking at the Kepler floor plan, which is a five bedroom floor plan, three bath, has a two car garage. It's roughly 3,000 square feet, you know, 3,061. And the starting price on these is 625,995. Now keep in mind, that's always subject to change as well as they continue to build here in the community. Now, before we get started on this walkthrough of the Kepler, don't forget to like our video, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell so you get notified to post more content like this in the future. And also, do remember, if you have any questions as we're going through this walkthrough, this model, make sure you drop those questions or comments in the comment section below, and we'll make sure to respond to any and all questions and comments we receive. All right, now let's check out this Kepler floor plan. All right, so now we're gonna start our walkthrough of the Kepler. So the Kepler here in the shores over in Rivertown has a lot to offer. And the first thing I wanna kinda of point out with what Toll Brothers does here is as you can see, they do a very nice front porch. It's a very good size and it's a very usable front porch which you don't always get with every floor plan or every builder here in the area. Uh, and so again, with this front porch, they did a nice large tile and they offset it as well, which just gives it a nice look, a nice clean look. Um, another thing I want to highlight too with this is they did all hardy board siding. Now hardy board siding has become more the mainstay siding that we see here in Northeast Florida because of how durable it is, the fact that it is a concrete cementous uh, material, um, and, and overall it's just very easy to maintain. So that's normally what you're going to see across the board with any builder here, but it's nice that Tolbert's is doing that. Now, when we first come to the house, you're going to see here they give you a really nice, tall, you know, 10 foot door, which really just makes it more of a focal point, really gives it a higher end feel. So you do get those higher ceilings, not just on the exterior, but also the interior. And so this 10 foot door is a very nice touch just to really uh, give you that nice, again, stately feel when you first come in. Now, as we come in, one of the first things you're going to notice is the ceiling is very high here. So when you first come in the house, we do these 20 foot high ceilings because of the fact that it's open to the second floor. And what that does, it, again, it keeps it open, keeps it light, keeps it bright. Uh, and again, just gives you that higher end feel for a product that again, starts in those low to mid 600 range. So you kind of get a little bit of everything with that. Now, as we continue to move forward through the home, we're actually gonna check out the downstairs bedroom and bathroom uh, for a mother-in-law, uh, for guests, however you want to use it. So what's really cool with it as well, as we're going to look at here, is that with this space, you actually get a small little like office area, which they did a really nice job here with the built-in. You know, they even did a, a quartz countertop with it. You know, even, you know, very nice uh, cabinets with it. So overall, just again, if you have a teenager, if you have you know, family staying over, like this is almost an extension of the space that they can use uh, that is truly their own. And then with it as well is that first bathroom. So this first bathroom, what you're going to see as we come in here is we're going to see with this bathroom that they did a shower only, but they did it with the seamless glass. So it's a seamless glass enclosure with a slight step down to go in. And the other thing I want to highlight with it too is they did a really nice tile pattern up to the ceiling in here, which really completes it. Now, if you've watched some of our previous videos, you know that we're very big on that. We're very big on when a builder does complete the look, goes up to the ceiling, because it definitely does just give it a much better feel than when they stop a, you know, a foot short or half foot short. So again, the fact that Toll Brothers did that is a nice touch. And this pattern, again, it's a nice, nice uh, looking pattern, but let me know in the comments section, do you like this pattern or would you like to see maybe like a subway tile pattern or something a little different? Also, let me know in the comment section, do you like this color or would you like to see a different color? Because I'd love to know your thoughts. Now with this one as well, they did do a single vanity. Uh, with the single vanity, you do have your quartz countertop with it. They did a nice brown traditional cabinet to go with it as well. So all in all, it's a really good look with it. And another thing I want to highlight too, before we go into the first uh, five bedrooms, is this flooring. So they did this nice wood look tile flooring throughout. It's a very light color. It's not the extremely 
uh, extremely white color that we've seen with other homes. So it has a little more brown in it, but overall it's a nice touch just to kind of give it a nice feel to where it's not too dark and not too bright. And that's gonna lead us to our first bedroom. So our first bedroom, really good size. You know, this is a full size bed, but it could easily be turned into a queen. You could even probably put a king in here because of how good of a size this room is. And with this one, they do have all recessed lighting. Uh, with a spot here, they have a chandelier currently, but you could easily switch it out for a ceiling fan. Um, so for you to have this area downstairs for guests, or again, if you have an older uh, teenager, so to speak, it's a great space for them uh, that's still separate from you as the homeowner. And then one last thing too, uh, this, this uh, closet is a standard closet. Uh, one thing I just wanna highlight with that is, other than the primary bedroom, the rest of the bedrooms will have standard closets throughout the home. So then from there, we come back to our hallway, going to the rest of the house. And before we go there, we're gonna check out the laundry room. So this laundry room is off of the garage. So this is gonna be your garage entrance here. They do have a little sitting area here so you can you can make it a little mudroom if you wanted to. They just, for this model, they didn't do it as a mudroom uh, with you know custom, custom uh, cabinetry there. But ultimately, it does, does give you a place to be able to sit down and, and you know, take your shoes off you know, before you come into the rest of the house. And then across from it is, like I said, your laundry room. So here in the laundry room, you do have a shop sink to be able to you know, wash your clothes with if you needed to. It gave you plenty of cabinetry in here as well. And then you have your countertop here to be able to fold your laundry after it's done with the dryer. And they do give you your washer and dryer here as well. And even with this, they do get a little bit, of, little bit of storage as well. So with these homes, anytime you can get additional storage, it's always a good thing. In this case, they have it with some rods, you know, some paddles, since they are in Rivertown, you know, very much supposed to be a very outdoor community, you know, fishing, boating, hiking, biking, uh, canoeing, you know, a lot of that is what's considered pretty normal here with Rivertown, along with the amenities you get for the neighborhood. And then that's gonna lead us to our kitchen. So with this kitchen, I'm gonna go ahead and come kind of around so you can see the full kitchen here. They went with a very traditional all white countertop. Now this countertop is a quartz countertop. Uh, so they did it for not just the island, but also the main counter as well behind the island. And with it as well, you, know, you do have a nice big porcelain or ceramic you know, deep sink. And this sink is that farm style sink, so it does stick out from the front to give you more of that kind of farm style look, which is very popular here in Northeast Florida. Then for the cabinets, they, do, they did give you a two-tone cabinet, so you have more of a brown traditional cabinet for your island. Now with these cabinets too, they are soft closed, which is a nice touch. And then for the rest of the kitchen, they gave you almost like a grayish blue ca cabinet to go for the rest of the kitchen here to offset the brown for the island. As far as the uppers, they actually left you with some floating shelves for the uppers instead of your traditional you know, cabinetry, which I would love to know your thoughts on as you're watching this video. Do you like that nice open uh, floating cabinet or, or countertop? Um, or would you like to have more of that traditional cabinetry where you can you know, put all your cups and dishes in? Uh, and again, they're not as noticeable to guests when they first come in. As far as appliances go, we do have all Whirlpool appliances. So you have your you have your Whirlpool stainless steel fridge, you have your microwave oven combo here. Uh, and then we do have our gas stovetop. Now, Rivertown is a gas community, which is very common here in Northeast Florida. Uh, but with this uh, community, again, it is a gas community. So you do have the five burner uh, cooktop. And then we also have a nice wood hood up here. Now, keep in mind as we're as you're going through this that some of the stuff you're seeing in this video are typically going to be upgrades with the builder. They're not always standards like this range uh, top, uh, but it's something you can always do with them. Another thing that's probably not a standard but is a nice touch is this herringbone tile design they did for the backsplash. You know, it's got some grays in it. It's got some whites. You know, some, some darker grays, lighter grays. So let me know in the comments if you like that or if you would like something more, a little more traditional uh, compared to this style of backsplash. 
And then moving right along, we are gonna check out the living room and dining room. So this is an open floor plan. So the living, dining, kitchen are all kind of combined. And so we have our super big dining room table here. Now this is an eight seater table that you could probably put 10 here if you really needed to. And ultimately it just kind of highlights just how large of a space this is for you and for guests to be able to host for holidays, for parties, for sporting events. You, know, you have plenty of room to do all of that with this floor plan, the Kepler. Another thing I like that they did here, they did do a tray ceiling for the ceiling back here. And with the tray ceiling, they did do a couple of faux wood uh, beams to go across. So they give you four faux wood beams to really just make it more of a focal point and really just make it more of a space that all in all is great for entertaining. Then we have our living room here. Again, really good size. Not much more to be said on it, uh, but again, it's a great size. You know, they have the TV mounted up top. You know, with this model, they did give you a kind of like a little uh, area here just for, for you know, be able to put plants or furniture pieces. So all in all, again, really good space with that as well. And then another item too, I just want to quickly highlight. They did do a very nice raw iron spindles for the uh, stairs going up top. Keep in mind that is definitely an upgrade, but something that we always just for you to do with the builder at the time of build if you have the option because of the fact that, you know, a lot of times it can be more costly later and most likely you're not going to want to do it later because of the fact that it is a bit of a messier job getting rid of the drywall. Now, where we're going into right now is our primary bedroom. So our primary bedroom is off the back of the house. It's a really good size as well. This primary has a king size bed, multiple end tables and a dresser, as well as a little seating area to really highlight just how big of a space this is. So with this primary bedroom, it has a lot to offer and it truly is tucked away from the rest of the house because of how they angled the, the, the door coming in to give you a bit of separation from your living room, so to speak, uh, with the space. Now for here as well, we have recessed lighting. They did the tray ceiling here, just like they did in the living room. We do have our faux wood beams up top as well, and tons of natural light when you first come in. <coughs> and that's gonna lead us to our primary bathroom. So with this primary bathroom, they probably have multiple options. So if you want just a shower, they probably have that. But in this case, they have a shower tub combo and they give you a big soaker tub with this bathroom, as well as a really good size shower. Now, keep in mind the shower enclosure is that seamless glass, just like the other bathroom was. It does have that step down as well. And with this tile, they actually, again, continue up to the ceiling. And they did a little different type of tile here to just kind of give it a little bit of a different look, a little bit of a different texture. You know, it's not as in your face, so to speak, as the other tile. It's a little more subtle with the color choice they chose for it, uh, really allowing the fixtures with it to really stand out. And then with this as well, they did do a very nice quartz countertop. Again, really nice cab cabinetry in here to match the cabinetry in the kitchen. They did all gold fixtures because gold has really started to come back into style here in Northeast Florida. And then that brings us to our primary closet. So this primary closet, one thing I love that Toll Builders does is they actually do a lot of times do these custom closets with custom cabinetry. And it just really is a nice touch just to really complete the look of here. Again, you have soft closed cabinets in here, uh, soft closed drawers. And you, it's a very nice touch with that. It's something that we don't see across the board. Now do keep in mind, again, it's probably an upgrade, but always one of those things that if the builder offers it and they'll do it for you, we always suggest to do it if it's something that you want to do at some point. So all in all that, it's really gonna wrap up the primary bedroom. And now we're gonna head upstairs. So as we continue to move, move right along, again, this tile in here, it's a very nice, you know, uh, design. You know, they offset the oversized tile with it. So it just really gives it a nice clean look for your primary ensuite. So yeah. With that being said, I mean, ultimately this is a great first floor for entertaining, it really gives you everything you're looking for and gives you separation from the upstairs, especially if you have kids that you want to have, have them have their own space. 
All right, now we're gonna head upstairs. All right, so now we are on the second story of the Kepler floor plan. And before we really get started on the second story, I do just wanna highlight too, one nice thing that Toll Brothers did with this is they did do the wood treads for the stairs. Sometimes they can offer up uh, vinyl treads, obviously carpet instead as well. But it definitely, you know, the wood treads just give it a really nice, you know, look. It really helps kind of complement the the uh, the spindles and, and you know the the railing. So definitely something that I would suggest you look into if you ever have plans on doing a wood or a wood looking color flooring for your first floor as well. With that being said, let's go ahead and check out up here. So. With the second story, we have our game room so, slash loft. So this is gonna be a great space for your kids, uh, for guests to be able to have their own part of the house. Again, if you have kids and they wanna have friends over, they can be upstairs. They'll have their space, you have your space downstairs. So it really just kind of gives you, you know, multiple spaces of use for the house that gives you that separation, but also just allows the family as a whole to really enjoy their living situation as much as they can. Uh, but up here, we do have three bedrooms and a bathroom. So this can be our first bedroom over here. Now this bedroom is separate from the other two bedrooms. So there's a, that is kind of nice, you know, if you have someone who wants to have their own kind of space at the house. Uh, this bedroom again is a really good size. One thing I do want to highlight, the ceiling height is not as high up here. Still really good, really good 10 foot ceilings, but not the, I believe 12 foot ceilings that we saw downstairs. Uh, so with this ceiling as well, we do have that recessed lighting as well as our single ceiling fan up here. We have plenty of natural light as well up here. So all in all, it has tons to offer uh, for you know a, a kid or whatnot for their own space. Then on the other side up here, we have the two bedrooms and bathroom. So we're gonna focus on the other two bedrooms first, and we're gonna have two bedrooms right here. This can be our second bedroom upstairs. This is probably the smallest of the five bedrooms in this house. They do have this bedroom designed as more of an office, but you could make it a bedroom as well, uh, you know, for a kid. Um, and again, it just kind of highlights the amount of space we have here. And as mentioned, it still has that recessed lighting along with the ceiling fan. Um, and as mentioned before too, all these do have that pretty standard closet size. And then with bedroom number five, number three upstairs, five overall, again, similar size. This is a full size bed. They do have a dresser here as well, just to show you the size of the space. Um, all in all, you know, for these bedrooms, they're all really good size, other than maybe that one. And so again, if you have a larger family, it, it doesn't have to feel like you're confined to too small of a space with a floor plan like this. And again, standard closet. And then that's gonna take us to our last bathroom. So this bathroom, they kept it very traditional. You know, they went a very, very low profile flooring. Uh, again, they offset it, you know, a nice white grout with it. Uh, but it's a very clean flooring that just kind of allows everything else to do the talking. So we do have, again, a nice countertop here, quartz countertop. We do have our, our brown cabinets double vanity for the three bathroom for the three bedrooms uh, so all in all it's a good size space and they also separate so that way again if you do have multiple kids if one is in the shower the other one can still get ready for school so it does give you plenty of, of space for all of them and as mentioned this is going to be your shower tub right here and the tile does go up to the ceiling with this one just like the other two do which we love to see and that's going to wrap up the second floor now we are going to end on checking out that beautiful backyard. So let's go and check that one out now. All right, so now let's check out the backyard. So this backyard here, again, really good size, uh, all things considered. With this backyard, you do have this really large sliding glass door that opens up on you, that you know, triple slider. Uh, and back here too, you do have plenty of overhead coverage. So with this overhead coverage, it, it does give you plenty of room where if it's raining, you can still use your backyard, still use the space. Uh, one thing Tolbert's not do with this is they did not screen it in, but something you can still do if you ever wanted to. Um, but just something that's definitely an option with this specific uh, layout. Now, one thing that Tolbert's did do back here is they did artificial turf for the whole backyard. So this artificial turf is a nice touch if you want something that's very low maintenance, something that you know, you don't have to worry about having to constantly upkeep. So it's a very nice material. 
there's a cost to it, but definitely something that if you just want to be able to enjoy your time in Florida, it makes a lot of sense to go with a, a turf instead. Next back here, we're gonna check out this little outdoor kitchen area, or more so just outdoor oven area. So this outdoor oven, you know, if you ever want to, uh, you know, cook a pizza outside, you know, this is something that we're starting to see more and more often here in Northeast Florida. And with this one, this is The Oven by Somerset. But we've seen other companies as well out here um, with some of these different builders as far as different uh, pizza oven designs. Out here as well, we do have some additional storage for ice uh, as well as drinks with the outdoor cooler area out here. We do have some store or not some storage, but trash out here as well. And then storage underneath the oven. And with this too, they did do a granite countertop, which just definitely gives it that higher end feel. You know, just kind of keeps that feel of the rest of the house. Then here in the middle, we do have a little area back here. You know, we have a outdoor fire pit area or fire feature area with this space because it's gas you're gonna have that quite a bit uh, with these different homes so it's kind of a cool little thing not something we see very often but definitely a cool little feature there and then it brings us to our outdoor fire pit for hanging out with guests at this outdoor fire pit you know you have plenty of room for seating they actually built it up so it kind of gets you a little bit higher up you know kind of makes you feel like you're you know above things so to speak so overall it's a nice little touch they have back here with it and then lastly we do have our putting green back here so this putting green you know if you ever want to work on your putting you know it's a great place to be able to do that with um overall i know i could always use it and being here in northeast florida you know it's one of those things that people do like to golf here golfing is very prevalent so you actually do see a lot of people will do that with their backyard uh, as far as adding a putting green to be able to use from time to time during the year. So I'd love to know your thoughts on that though. And if you're somebody who would love to have a little putting green or if you think it's just kind of a waste of space, I'd love to know what your thoughts are with that. So drop that comment below on what you think. That being said, that is gonna do it for our walkthrough of the this floor plan. All right, so that's gonna wrap up our walkthrough tour of the Kepler floor plan here with Toll Brothers in the Shores at Rivertown. As I mentioned, if you have any questions or any comments, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. We'll make sure to answer them. But if you'd rather talk to me in person to get those questions answered, uh, in the description of this video is a link to my calendar. Feel free to schedule time on my calendar for us to meet face-to-face -face or through Zoom or even just a phone call to go over any questions you and your family have about potentially buying a home here with Toll Brothers in Rivertown. I'd love to be your source to help you with that. Or if you'd rather just call me, my phone number is also in the description of this video as well. And also thank you for staying until the end because I did want to go over the different builder incentives we are currently seeing Toll Brothers offer. So just like any other builder right now, Toll Brothers is offering different incentives such as price uh, reductions, such as closing cost concessions, uh, you know, concessions towards design center items, uh, as well as rate buy downs across the board. So if you want to know more about what Toll Brothers is specifically offering right now here in the shores, again, in the description is linked to my calendar. Feel free to schedule time for us to discuss that as well as which floor plan may make the most sense for you and your family. But for that being said, that's going to wrap up this video. Now I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit of punning in, get work my, my short game. I'll catch you guys again on the next model home tour.